Hi everyone, uh, my name's Frances um, and uh, I'm part of the St Mark's family along with my husband Mark and my two teenage boys Joe and Daniel. Uh, we're really missing you all at the moment and we hope you're okay. Um, we are coping okay in lockdown I think. Um, we've had it much easier than many um, being able to be together. Um, but we do miss you, our church family, and certainly for Mark and Joe and Daniel, they're really missing school, uh, where they either teach or learn, and really missing their friends. So the last few weeks have been harder for them. Um, I think lockdown for me has enabled me to reconnect a little bit with um, friends on the phone or via Zoom, um, with God, certainly, as I've been able to spend a little bit more time just enjoying creation on my walks or cycles, um, praying um, and I've really enjoyed tuning into midday prayers at St Mark's as well. Um, it's not a good substitute for meeting together face to face but it's good enough at the moment. Um, so I hope that many of you have been enjoying YouTube services um, or midday prayers as well. So as the prayer coordinator at St Mark's, I'm just going to tell you about something that's coming up this week, starting on the 21st of May. It's called Thy Kingdom Come, and this is the annual Archbishop of Canterbury's call to prayer. It's not just for the Church of England, it's for the whole church, and it's not just for the UK, it's for the church across the world. And there'll be many Christians joining together in prayer for 10 days from the 21st of May until the 31st of May and those two dates are Ascension Day and Pentecost. Pentecost when we remember the outpouring of God's Holy Spirit on the disciples. So the vision of thy kingdom come I think is a really exciting one. The vision is for Christians to be praying for people that they know who don't yet know Jesus to come to know him and it's an exciting time for this to be happening right now as we've seen um, probably in the news or you may have heard that many people are searching at this time during the pandemic, crying out for a sense of purpose, um, reaching out, looking for prayer um, or just questioning the purpose of life and whether there's a God. Um, Alpha Online seems to have really taken off and so what a great time to, for us to be praying as Christians for our friends and family members who don't yet know Jesus. To come to know him. So I'd really encourage you to get involved this week. Um, there'll be an email coming every day from 21st of May to the 31st of May from St Mark's with a short reflection based on the Lord's Prayer which you can use as a family or on your own and there'll be a little video um, as well that you can watch just to help families engage in prayer together and it's something for all ages from the youngest to the oldest. Just as we remembered at Pentecost um, uh, every year that Joel uh, prophesied that one day old men would dream dreams and young men would see visions and sons and daughters would prophesy. Um, this outpouring of the Holy Spirit is for everyone. And so we pray that the Spirit will help us to be good witnesses and also that, make, that the Spirit will make Jesus real to those people we're praying for. So um, search up um, the church website, receive those emails and see if you can join in in some way every day for those 10 days with this global wave of prayer, thy kingdom come. Thanks for watching, see you soon, bye.